If you use disinfecting wipes on the regular, you're far from alone. According to surveys, most Americans say they use some form of wipes to help clean their homes, and they've been an especially hot commodity during the novel coronavirus outbreak. But how effective are they, really? In response to the global outbreak of the novel coronavirus, COVID-19, the American Chemistry Council's Center for Biocide Chemistries released a list of products approved by the United States Environmental Protection Agency for use against emerging viral pathogens. Several Clorox and Lysol products have been approved by the Environmental Protection Agency as a defense against this new strain of the virus. But these wipes should not be thought of as a substitute for other hygienic practices. EPA Administrator Andrew Wheeler explained in a statement provided to CNN Health, using the correct disinfectant is an important part of preventing and reducing the spread of illnesses along with other critical aspects such as hand washing. Per the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's Clean and Disinfect Coronavirus Guide, COVID-19 may remain on surfaces for as long as hours to days, thus the need for disinfecting. The CDC further advises both frequent cleaning and disinfecting to prevent exposure to the coronavirus. Surfaces that are visibly dirty should be first cleaned with soap and water and then disinfected. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention advises disinfecting frequently touched surfaces, including tables, doorknobs, light switches, countertops, handles, desks, phones, keyboards, toilets, faucets, and sinks every day. But for disinfecting wipes to be useful against COVID-19, they must be used correctly. Brian Sansoni of the American Cleaning Institute explained to Chemical and Engineering News that wiping the disinfectant off too early may be useful for cleaning, but won't adequately sanitize the surface. To know exactly how long to let the disinfectant sit, check the container and follow the instructions. You shouldn't assume you know how to use one brand because you've used another. Sansoni explained, each disinfectant product, be it a spray or wipe for instance, is formulated differently. As long as you allow disinfecting wipes time to do their thing, though, they work. Charles Gerba, a microbiologist at the University of Arizona, further told the publication the wipes win hands down compared to disinfecting sprays because people aren't as likely to wipe off the product prematurely. According to the Soap and Detergent Association's study, 28% of Americans who use either cleaning, disinfecting, or antibacterial wipes do so because of their portability and another 20% use them because of the ease of disposal. Others like them because they are quick and functional. Many like disinfecting wipes in particular because of their ability to kill germs. Disinfecting wipes' germ-fighting abilities are advertised right on the container, and independent studies have confirmed that those claims are accurate. According to one such study published in Journal of Applied Microbiology, wiping down kitchen counters with disinfecting wipes after preparing poultry will cut your chance of Campylobacter food poisoning by 99.2%. The ingredients wipes contain are indeed very effective in killing germs, Samson Davis, an emergency room physician, said on The Dr. Oz Show. It's, well, it's effective in, in, use, in ridding the germ, but you have to make sure you use it for the right amount of time. Not all bacteria is bad, but disinfecting wipes work to indiscriminately kill all bacteria on a surface. Overusing disinfectants like wipes can lead to the growth of antibiotic-resistant bacteria known as superbugs, according to the Environmental Working Group. In 2008, British researchers discovered that one particular kind of superbug, methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, or MRSA, was able to spread through disinfecting wipes. Vanderbilt University School of Medicine's Department Chair of preventative medicine, William Schaffner, recommended a use-it-and-lose-it procedure to avoid the spread, saying, We found that the most effective way to prevent the risk of MRSA spread in hospital wards is to ensure the wipe is used only once on one surface. One of the problems with disinfecting wipes has nothing to do with the product itself but how people use them. The Environmental Working Group notes on its website, The truth is, disinfecting wipes are not necessary for routine cleaning. While cleaning removes germs from a surface, disinfecting kills them by using antimicrobial pesticides, such as quaternary ammonium compounds or quats. Before you break out your container of wipes, the EWG stresses the need to recognize whether you actually need to disinfect or you just need to clean. Cleaning regularly will both remove germs that are present and prohibit more germs from appearing. When a surface comes in contact with raw meat, blood, or bodily fluids, and when a family member suffers from a contagious illness, such as the flu, disinfecting is then advised. 
The cleaning product industry has been steadily growing. In 2016, revenue from these products was projected to exceed $61 billion in the U.S. Many of these products are marketed to make our lives easier, but the most effective product isn't likely to be the flashiest in the cleaning aisle. It's not going to be those handy-dandy disinfecting wipes, either. Simpson Davis said on Dr. Oz, We find that soap and water, good old soap and water, never fails us. Even with so many powerful disinfectants out there, the first line of defense against germs is always going to be soap and water. This is true even of contaminated surfaces that should be disinfected. Disinfecting wipes can certainly be a welcome addition in helping you keep your bathroom sanitary, but Lysol recommends wipes for, quote, quick and convenient cleaning such as wiping down sinks, tiles, toilet seats, bathtubs, trash cans, and the bathroom floor. These wipe downs are intended to save you a lot of time when it comes to deep bathroom cleaning cleaning. As much as we wish disinfecting wipes were the holy grail of cleaning, they are unfortunately not. The wipes may buy you a little time between deeper cleanings, but you'll still need to whip out the toilet bowl cleaner and shower scrubber on a regular basis. The label of your disinfecting wipes will tell you how long you are able to keep a surface area wet. Yvonne Ong, a microbiologist and vice president of research and development at Microbon, told Apartment Therapy, for example, the use instructions for Clorox's disinfecting wipes stipulate that you should wipe surface using enough wipes for the treated surface to remain visibly wet for four minutes. Let surface dry. You have to use enough wipes for the area to stay wet. Often that means you're going to need more than one measly wipe. You probably have to use two or maybe even three wipes to clean something like the entire size of a, a kitchen island. Since many users in a household rarely time themselves for four minutes while ensuring the surface is wet, according to Ong, we all risk just spreading germs around, so it's time to start following the instructions. Brian Sinsoni, the Soap and Detergent Association's vice president of communication, touted the versatility of wipes in a press release, saying, From purses and car consoles to countertops and suitcases, there is a wipe where and when we need it. While these may be common places to stash the product, not all of these locations are actually suitable for disinfecting wipes. On The Dr. Oz Show, emergency room physician Samson Davis said, Storage of the wipes is very important. Extreme hot and cold temperatures really alter their effectiveness. You want to make sure you store that room temperature. Sometimes we keep our wipes in our car. What happens is you destroy the preservatives and you make it fold mode. As the name implies, it's a fungus that develops in between the folds of the wipes. Imagine spreading that all around your steering wheel. You might not think much of giving your little one's toys a wipe down with a disinfecting wipe, but there are some guidelines to keep in mind when using the germ-killing agent in this way. According to Lysol's website, small plastic toys without batteries can be both cleaned and sanitized with the trip through the dishwasher. For little plastic toys with batteries, the company recommends cleaning the outer areas of the toy with soap and water and then using a wipe to disinfect the outside. Yes, Lysol wipes are safe enough to use on your children's toys. However, you'll need to Quote, wipe the toy with water and dry before handing the toy back to baby, according to the brand. Depending on the toy, larger plastic toys can also be disinfected in the same manner. When it comes to fabric toys like stuffed animals, though, you're going to want to wash them as you would clothing. Disinfecting wipes won't do much good there. Though you can use them on children's toys, disinfecting wipes come with a keep-out-of-reach-of-children warning on every container. Of course, not everyone heeds the warning. One parent in Massachusetts became concerned after discovering that his daughter and other students at Huckleberry Hill School, one of Linfield's public schools, were being given Clorox wipes to clean their desks and tables. The parent's attorney, Nicholas DeMario, told WBZ, "...children should not be exposed to any of these chemicals. This is a serious safety issue." issue in my client's opinion. DeMario filed a complaint with the Department of Agricultural Resources, which resulted in a pesticide inspector issuing a letter of warning to Linfield Public Schools. The letter demanded the school cease and desist having children use products that have keep out of reach of children on the label. While encouraging kids to clean is great, disinfecting wipes may not be the right tool for the task. Don't expect your wipes to stay fresh forever. The product will start to degrade after two years, and according to Good Housekeeping, the wipes may then begin to lose a bit of their effectiveness. If you crack open a container of mystery disinfecting wipes, the smell will tell you all you need to know. If the scent is weaker than you remember, toss them out. 
Since the purpose of the product is to disinfect and kill germs, it's not worth the risk of using old wipes to do the job. Buy a new container so you know it's going to have that near 100% guarantee. Still, disinfecting wipes don't exactly expire, per se. A representative for Lysol revealed on Facebook that the company's products do not have an expiration date, but rather have, quote, a shelf life of two years from date of manufacture. Clorox assigns an even shorter shelf life, one year, to its wipes. Disinfecting wipes are not the same as antibacterial wipes, nor should they be used in the same manner. On their site, Clorox states that their wipes should not be used for personal cleansing. They are not to be used as baby wipes, either. Furthermore, disinfecting wipes can cause eye irritation, as is indicated on the label. Clorox advises users to avoid contact with eyes and wash thoroughly with soap and water after handling. Just because disinfecting wipes can kill the germs lurking on your kitchen and bathroom counters, it doesn't mean it will do the same for your hands. Mary Gagliardi, a cleaning expert at Clorox, told Apartment Therapy that the product's disinfecting claims are solely based on the wipe's interaction with hard and soft surfaces, not skin. Although disinfecting wipes have been tested on many surfaces, they shouldn't be used on everything. Clorox's Mary Gagliardi told Apartment Therapy that the wipes shouldn't be used on absorbent surfaces like rugs or carpeting. They also shouldn't be used to disinfect unpainted wood because it, too, is absorbent. Likewise, this rule also applies to any surfaces that are unsealed, unfinished, or even oiled or waxed. Clorox disinfecting wipes should also not be used on copper, aluminum, or polished surfaces. Before you disinfect a surface, it pays to check the label to see what can be safely sanitized. And when in doubt, test a small area before you wipe down the entire surface with disinfecting wipes. Of course, you don't have to use these wipes at all. The Environmental Working Group said baby wipes are made without the chemicals in disinfecting wipes and yet are still a viable option for routine cleaning of hard surfaces. Though disinfecting wipes may not be a total miracle product, there are still proven benefits to using them. Beyond killing bacteria and viruses that cause the common cold and the flu, when used correctly, disinfecting wipes can also kill E. coli, salmonella, and the bacteria that causes strep throat. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recognizes their place in quelling germs in schools and advises using the wipes on phones, computers, and any other electronic items that are touched often, and can withstand the use of liquids for cleaning and disinfecting. In 2014, researchers conducted a study comparing cleaning and disinfecting wipes to a towel and bucket method. The results? When using ready-to-use wipes, we found compliance to be significantly higher, a more rapid cleaning and disinfection process, and potential cost savings. The researchers concluded the abstract by urging facilities to consider supplying these easy-to-use wipes. Whether you choose to use disinfecting wipes in your home, though, is entirely up to you.